All right, so now I've removed the input LED and I've got the uh, one ohm current viewing resistor across the uh, function generator input to the device. And And I'm right now feeding it with a, a sine wave of about 1,000 hertz, 1 kilohertz. And this is what, what we got here. This is the, the top trace is uh, the signal from the function generator. And then the bottom trace is the current through that 1 ohm resistor. And uh, the top trace there is at... Um, 5 volts per division, so we've got uh, plus and minus 5 volts, 10 volts peak to peak on the sine wave going in. And then the current trace is at uh, 20 milliamps per division. So we have about 20 milliamps of the peak, and then you can see that we've got a nice phase shift going on there too uh, between the current and the voltage. All right, now I'm going to turn up the frequency. And you can see that there's a there's a current peak right there. Still no light in the output LED though. You can see I'm not changing the peak to peak voltage on the function generator but you can see how the current changes and now I'm going to switch ranges on the function generator here hang on okay so now we're well above the audio frequencies now look what happens to the current look at that I'm going to have to change the range on the current now Okay, so now we're at 50 milliamps per division. And the time base is, is right now is uh, two tenths of a millisecond per division. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to a higher frequency. Okay, so now we're at 20 microseconds per division. We've, we're at a frequency now of 11 kilohertz, 11.23 kilohertz. And uh, remember now the current here is at 50 milliamps per division. So we're up to 100 milliamps or 200 milliamps peak to peak on the AC now. So we'll continue on up. And there is a little wiggly, wiggulation. I'm going to change the range on the current again. Okay, now we are at 200 milliamps per division. Still going up in frequency. Now I'm going to change the uh, frequency range again. Okay, and now we're getting brilliant output LED. And you can see, I think, some reaction from the coil. You see that we're not even putting out that same 10 volts peak to peak voltage anymore. And as I go, let's see, where is it here? See how we have a sinusoid there? And then as we approach the true resonant frequency of the coil, or go through it, which should be right about there, I think. Output LED gets good and bright when we have that spiky... Change the current again. So now we're at a half an amp per division, so here we have almost an amp going through the primary of that coil. It looks like that right around in there is where we get a peak current, and that is at a frequency of about 82 kilohertz for this 
this guy right here. Brilliant output LED, but not, not as brilliant as when we get up to this kind of a wave shape. It's really bright now.